Yes, an amazing show. Amazing show. Obviously. Um, and the, hearing the music, hearing the show for the first time, I think expect to learn, to laugh. I think when you hear about the themes of the show, sometimes you might not realize that it's actually really funny. I think yeah. that's one thing I pride myself on as a writer is that um, even when dealing with sometimes very difficult topics, like humor is always present at the forefront of my work and these characters are all very funny so yeah. i want i can't wait to hear the audience laughing at these jokes that are no longer funny to us because we've heard them a million times but for the audience it will hopefully be funny again um i think it's also okay like if you do get a chance to to cry a little because it's like it's something that's a little therapeutic to of what we went through in 2016 you know yeah. so it, it was a lot and i think we're, we're able to express it in a way that's not about like this is what happened but more about more about this is how we reacted to it um and i think it's good to sympathize with with ourselves in the past with these characters in a way yeah yeah and also to question even your own um what does home mean to you mm -hmm. i think by a lot of folks the, one of the presentations that we did uh at a, a michigan university a student came up to me afterwards and was like i gotta call my mom <laughs> because right. it was like you know something about the piece just made them feel like oh my gosh i need to connect with my mother like this mm -hmm. i didn't realize how much i was craving this connection with my family until i saw this piece so you know be prepared to be challenged to learn to laugh to cry um and hopefully it's also you know like bop around a little time. bit to the music yeah, there's, there's, there's a couple of really good bops that. in there. Yeah, yeah, it'll be that too. So we'll see you then. See you there.